Technology is everything. The ontology of our age. If that is the case, then what might we expect? This is a question taken up by George Grant in an interview by Gad Horowitz, who's uh, now Emeritus Professor of Political Science at, at Toronto. The interview was held at Grant's Ontario home in 1969. I'm going to recite the first two questions and responses given. So this is Horowitz asking the question. What do you mean when you describe our society as a technological society? Grant, probably smoking a cigarette, followed by another one and another one. He's a prolific chain smoker. It was amazing. Uh, Grant says, I mean that this is a society in which people think of the world around them as, as mere indifferent stuff, which they're absolutely free to control any way they want through technology. I don't think of the technological society as something outside us. You know, just, just like a bunch of machines. It's a whole way of looking at the world. The basic way Western humanity experience their own existence in the world. Out of it comes large organizations, bureaucracies, machines, and the belief that all problems can be solved scientifically in an immediate, quantifiable way. The technological society is one in which men uh, or persons are bent on dominating and controlling human and non-human nature. Horvitz then interrupts. And out of this dominating, aggressive relationship with nature grows a situation in which human beings are prevented from existing truly as human beings. Their lives are shaped to conform to the requirements of technological progress. They thus become subordinated to their own technology. How do you, how do you mean this? In what ways can we see it? In what ways are we as human beings damaged by the technological relationship with nature? Horowitz asks. Grant responds. I think that fundamentally... We don't quite know what has happened to us. What I try to say in technology and empire is that we must try to think what it is to live in modern North America. We who have walked the streets of the great metropolis and seen the giant wars of this century and live in highly organized institutions which determine us more than we determine them must feel the need not only to live but to know to think of our living. Otherwise, we're at the mercy of it. And it seems to me, at the moment that we are at the mercy of the technological machine we have built, and every time anything difficult happens, we add to the machine. We have more science to answer the difficulties that science itself has created. Now, this predicament is too enormous in the history of the race to permit one to say, I'm against it, or I'm for it. The main thing, you know, in my life, is just to see what it is. Technology is the metaphysics of our age, you know, as we know what metaphysics is. Technology is the metaphysics of our age. It's the way being appears to us. And certainly we're rushing into the future with no categories by which we can judge it. That was a conversation in 1969 between Grant and Horowitz, at least the start of a conversation. 